Good morning. Today I am going to ah, so let's watch Bunny. Today I'm going to Equarian Market because it's been long overdue. Equarian Market is that market you go to when you want to buy like household, like stuff for the kitchen, stuff for the living room. They have a lot of things. There are a lot of people there that buy stuff from UK and US. You find IKEA products there. You find other kinds of products there. Other brands there. So if you are looking for a place in Lagos where you can buy household and some of them can be international brands or whatever You need to check out Equarium Market. So that's where I'm going to. It's quite a distance from here But I made up my mind that today is the day for it. I can see Tito standing on the desk Why okay. is standing on my table? That's not it. Don't stand on the table. Yeah, come down Anyways, let me get ready and start going because I don't want to come back late. I don't know why people are reversing on a major bridge and major way. Unless there's like serious traffic. I'm on the way to a point. I'm getting there. It's just looking like a struggle today. People are just reversing on the main road. I don't know. Is there an alternative way? Okay. Hmm? Hold on. I'm taking off. This is stress. Lagos is not one of those places that you have appointment by appointment. nine o'clock or something and then you can't get there even though you left your house early. Yeah. You should not be upset with people if they cannot make appointments sometimes because they leave at the early time but one kind of stupid traffic can just happen now and they won't get to where they're supposed to get to. So that's just Lagos life. I think we spend a lot of our productive hours being stuck in traffic. Very annoying. Look at the other lane. So I just saw these plants. What do you guys think? Do you think I should buy? This is the first shop I entered and they have a lot of nice things. She said this one is what? 6-5. This one too, 6-5. This five five. This is the one I've been seeing like on YouTube and stuff. But I kind of like this one. I will decide before I finish. I will decide between these two. So I just saw these containers. I like it because it's pink. It's actually airtight. I'm going to use it to store like beans, Gary, and stuff. So yeah. I need this for my kitchen sink. So I will take uh, two of these ones. And I saw this tree. I thought it was very pretty. So I don't know. What do you think? They're fine. I already have um, like five of these at home so I decided to I add this one because I feel like I need one more of these storage baskets so I'll take this one and in this store they actually have a lot of things like a lot of plastic wear and everything and kitchen towels and stuff so I just found them this water jars because I don't like using ever water bottles <laughs> You know, in every house, it, everybody's using ever water bottle. But I like these ones. They are a bit fancy. And it's about 
750 naira. So just put it in your fridge. I don't know why I like yellow. Like I just found this yellow napkins. I don't know, it comes as two in one. And I thought it was cute. So I have to buy like four packs. This is where I buy those easy lock things. Let me open it for you. I use them to store like cereal and stuff like that. You guys, I just saw it. I think it's cute. I'll take two. I like your nylon. No? I like it too. Yeah. yeah. Do you have the glass one? Yes. Where is it? It's inside the And my taxi. My taxi is waiting for me. Oh. <laughs> so I got this plate. Wait, take this first one out of it. I think this one is so cute. I just finished from the market and I'm going home now. I'm so tired. So tired. I didn't even show you guys the front of the Bori market. I was rushing. Sorry. Everywhere. Yeah, it goes, it goes, so they have blocked the whole road. The one side, one line. Yeah. And you'll be on the floor. That's not good at all. That's not good. They will go and strike. Any small thing, Abi? Yeah. No. It's okay because they will not. Okay, they are the ones that bring fuel. Mix with other ones that go to the wall. No. Gosh. Already got the. So Tito is doing some activity. Scattering, scattering the house and painting. This is Tito's art. It will be hung on his wall. Nikki's art gallery, look out. <laughs> this is Nikki's art gallery. Tito's masterpiece. Watch out for Tito. Watch out. <laughs> like he's enjoying this. Hello guys, good afternoon. Today I'm going all the way to the mainland and I'm going to tell you about it soon. Yeah, this house is very mature. Yeah, very mature. They sell that house. Before, oh, you see how cute it is. There's already electricity in the estate. You see, the, power, the source is from the national grid into Treasure Park and Camp, as you can see. There's a lot of people living yeah, in Yeah, two, two bedrooms. Very nice These and two cute. They actually have a like a eatery here. It's closed, have no they? Yes. No water. I like the floor. So we just came to Shimawa. Where's Shimawa? Shimawa is behind the um, redemption camp. Yes, people are buying properties yeah, here. Camp. So if you're interested, oh, seven hundred k one plot oh, of land. Oh look. Tito would love this. Like Tito would just love here. To come and have fun here. Oh, yeah. I actually like the space. Like, been... where is that? Yeah, and playground, bigger. Uh, like I said, the owner's not uh, taking shape like that. But yeah, we will get there now. Okay. Uh, 
Treasure Parks and Garden Phase 1. <laughs> Inside, yes, oh, wow. yeah. this is our most popular estate. Why? I don't know, just because it's city of David. Close gate to pass it. Pass this one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let us enter by this time. Is that what they said? So that's in the why Bible. that's why it has two gates. That's why it has two gates. Just like the how it is in the Bible. Um, that's why they use it for so I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it? Uh, but this place is big. The yeah. transformer is here already. They brought in the transformer. So is it place? Where does it end? It ends there. I don't know. It doesn't end there. I still going inside. I see a lot of people have started building. So the deal that we're doing now, we're selling a plot of land here in Shimawa for 700,000. You make a deposit of 200,000. So 700,000 is it for one what? One plot of, oh sorry. Okay, so the deal is you buy, you you get a plot of land measuring 60 by 120 okay. for 700,000. Your first deposit will be, instead of um, 1 million, mm. you pay 700,000 for the land. Your first deposit will be 200,000 and you spread the balance for one year. Oh, okay. And you get a free RAM. Now, if you pay 700,000 mm. outrightly, you get two RAMs. Then, if you buy a house, for example, you buy a two bedroom house for 16.5 million, mm. it will take you on a trip to Jerusalem. To where? To Jerusalem? Yeah. Let's go to Jerusalem. So no, but for real, for real, for real. If you buy what? For real, for real. If you buy a house mm. and you make a deposit of three million for the house, the houses, the cheapest of the houses starts at uh, the houses starts at um, sixteen point five million for two bedroom, then thirty million for three bedroom, or thirty five million depending on the size of the plots that the house is built on. So if you if you're buying a house and you make your first deposit of three million naira. You're yeah, going to Jerusalem. To Jerusalem, yes. When? Uh, that I, um, you, that one will be discussed between the client and the company. So oh. it's that uh, the client will tell them when they'll be able to travel and then they'll book their trip. That's, that's yeah. And you also get RAM. RAM. Now, if you're paying outrightly for the house, you get 10% discount and you pay outrightly, you get 10% discount. However, if you're not paying outrightly, you can spread the balance for two years. No, no, I didn't tell you guys that this is my friend, Yota. But some of you would have seen her in my vlogs like lots of times, especially before we moved. So she's the one that sells these landed lands and what? Is it land and properties or what? Land. It's properties, it's all properties. Abi, it's all property. We are going now because we've seen the place we wanted to see and it's actually very developed so if you're interested the descript um, information will be in the description box so aside from Shimawa we have estates like this in Ecuador, in Abuja, Ikorodu, uh, Ibejuleki and uh, Atom Ota. and we are giving 30% discount on all of them your initial payment is 200,000 Ibadan is quite cheap, 525. And I heard Ibadan is actually a nice place. I've never been to Ibadan. Eh? I've never been to Ibadan. Uh, I, well, before I know it's to like Ibadan, but Ibadan is actually a very, very cool place. I like Ibadan. My, my parents in law are in Ibadan. Oh, that's true. Yes. So, oh, it's true. That means yes, me and you can go and do <laughs> Saturday day. Like, we can go in the morning and come back in the evening. So that we yeah. can see that there's really light here. And it's not gen. It's light. Transformers are okay. Good afternoon. 
Today is Monday afternoon and um, I'm going um, to Ikeja for an interview, for a radio interview with City 105 FM. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to post this on my Instagram now, post it on Twitter, post it on Facebook and um, you know typically things like this sometimes I can't post it in advance because I've already put up CC Weekly and I didn't get the information before CC Weekly went up. So I'm going to post it on my social media pages, which is why you should be following me on Instagram, Snapchat and all those places so that during the week you can kind of get an idea of what I'm up to. Anyways, you'll see the after in CC Weekly. Um, I'm already ready now. I'm already ready. Is that a word? I'm ready now and off I go. It's been a while since I've been to Ikeja. Like I'm very very excited. I wish I went very early in the morning so I can do some shopping. I find that things are very expensive on this side. Well a bit expensive because I wanted to buy what's it called? Is it LA Girl Pro Concealer? I went somewhere it was 3000 I was like 3 what? I left there. Another place it was 2 five. But I know I buy it in Ikeja for like one five on a good day one two. So that's something I'm going to be looking out for today as well. <laughs> so I just want to go there, do a bit of shopping, do my interview and come back home. Hey! How are you? Today's watching Teletubbies! Big! <laughs> concentration. No, no! Tell him, yes. See concentration. Anyways, uh, just waiting for my taxi, almost here. I'm loving rocking my natural hair lately. Like yesterday, Yomi touched my hair. Was like, I'm like, why are you touching my hair like that for? He said, is it attachment? No, it is not attachment. It is my hair. <laughs> he was impressed actually, and I'm actually impressed. Taxi's here. You want to go with me? You cannot go with me. You can't. You can't go with me, eh? I'll sit here, guys. This is my new favorite jam. <laughs> this is this song, this song is by Small Doctor. I don't know. Can you hear it? Thudmeland Bridge, like the beginning part of Thudmeland Bridge, and I'm like, why can't you people just leave this place alone? I hope they're not going to start building houses here. Like, leave the water alone. I just got to City 105. Is it City 105? Let me check. Uh, hello guys. So I just got here. Yeah, I was going to City 105.1. So we're going in in about a minute and I'll take you guys along. This is Kumi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. It's not always positive. So I just really want to know how do you handle the negativity out there you know if, mm -hmm. if, if you get negative um, feedback how yeah. do you handle it that no i get negativity okay. Okay. but not all the time in fact the first comment i ever got on my blog was it was the worst comment ever mm -hmm. and i felt like that person was someone that knew me because that was the first ever oh. comment and <laughs> like not a lot of people knew i started my blog mm -hmm. except my friends yeah. so it was something like i don't know what you think you are or whatever like you need That's to shut personal. out so it was mm -hmm. so personal and i was so hurt and i almost deleted the blog oh. my husband was like can you just get over it like you're going to get more of this <laughs> you need to get used to it actually mm -hmm. so i got used to it but I didn't get like serious hate. Mm -hmm. What I get sometimes is 
just people that don't understand me what you're doing. and after a while they repent i always <laughs> say this like after watching for a while they're like do you know what i can't hate this girl anymore i like you now <laughs> like you just leave them alone because sometimes the battle is not with you it's with themselves really? like yeah. inside their own mind yeah. they're thinking you should not be doing this because i don't think you are capable but the more you show them i can do this they're like okay maybe we should let her rest eight nine three six one zero five of course it dm me up ask her whatever you feel like well as long as it's nothing too personal like <laughs> can i marry you or something <laughs> she's married she's and very course, married maybe, maybe if you have a question about blogging maybe you're looking to go into that field yeah i just need some advice i know she takes money depends on what your gift is or okay. what your talent very important because if let's say you don't know how to write I wouldn't say you should go into blogging. Mm. If you don't have the passion for creating, let's say, video content, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say you should go into that. Unless you are maybe good at the technical part, you can film, you can learn how to edit, uh -huh. those Things other like parts. That. So there are mm -hmm. other parts in this industry. You don't have to be like a blogger plus. Mm -hmm. You have to build a blog for a long time Fine. before you start making money. Sometimes, mm -hmm. not for a long time, but enough to get people to notice you. Yes. And that is not easy. Mm. So you have to Hard think work. of other ways to get into the industry. Like I tried so many things like going to TV stations and okay. telling them I want to intern with them okay. and or radio stations mm. and all of that. Even though they didn't accept me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them now. Exactly. <laughs> they didn't accept me now. because obviously at that moment I, w I don't even think I had what it took. took. But it's just now I'm doing it by myself. I'm beginning to realize this TV job is not easy. This radio mm. job is not easy yeah. at all. Do you understand? Them. So <laughs> it it depends on what you can do within the industry. Look for the part that you're comfortable with, and you can come and um, train. Train because I went somewhere, and this guy was telling me that the guy that um, I think he presents a show or something like that. But how he started was he just came out like, I can help you people sweep anything. Mm. I don't know how to like. I don't know anything about TV, radio, but I can help you sweep. Mm -hmm. I can help you clean the tables, the computers. Wow. And they allowed him, after a while, he started getting interested in like all these techie yeah. parts. Yeah. And he trained. And after training, now he's on the job. And mm -hmm. the boss was telling me that he met people there that now he's well paid more than them. Mm -hmm. Because he just drew, got the interest as he was doing this try to better yourself exactly. don't remain exactly. the sweeper forever exactly. you're already inside the building now start improve getting your yourself. connection improve yourself mm. so it depends on what your passions really are. i'm not going to just say everybody can open a youtube channel <laughs> <laughs> all right okay all right so do you do you consider yourself just to debate a little bit do you consider yourself a role model for some because i i, I know that surely there are young women out there looking up to you and then you're under 40 you're killing it with what you're doing and mm. To be honest, I know that being that, you know, this whole big bad world wide web has popped <laughs> up, you know, so many opportunities. So I know there's so many people who are looking to, to um, go into that line. Do you consider yourself a role model? I didn't used to. And I think anytime I, I think about it that way, it puts a lot of pressure on me. I'm I like, me, role model. <laughs> <laughs> it puts a lot of pressure. But I do realize I'm at a level where people... We'll really look yeah look, we'll look up to me and yeah. that is just natural yeah. so when i think about it i know that i am right now mm -hmm. and i try to do what i can to encourage people i do my best to encourage because i realize i can't give you everything exactly. i have I, gi I can't give you all the information mm -hmm. i can't come to your table and help you mm -hmm. edit but what i can do is to encourage you which yes. is not something i got a lot of like i didn't have anybody telling me have you made your video mm -hmm. today have you uploaded your video today yeah. this is what you need to do to yeah. edit your video yeah. how to make your videos look good or how to make your blog look nice yeah. i didn't have that and so i was just well. learning as i was going oh mm -hmm. you need this kind of camera okay you need this kind of lens oh actually what makes the picture really good it's not even the camera is lighting yes. oh wow mm -hmm. Nobody told me. I just learned on the job. On the job. Mm -hmm. So um, I I give what I can as a <laughs> don't let me say rule, but <laughs> as a mentor. 
let me just expose them in okay, this I'm office. I'm <laughs> I usually get hated on in the office because I'm watching CME <laughs> cooking vlogs. I'm because going I'm like, to be watching hmm. after that now. I'm like, hmm, I don't know how to make this. I don't know how to make this. I don't even bother. I just do CCME. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even We just finished the show. Mm. This yes. is Kumi, Hello. and this, this is Bumi, <laughs> and they were so lovely. And it went by so fast. That's the thing about you when you're having fun. Yeah. It goes by it's so fast. I'm like, give me one hour fast, just like that, just like that. Just like that. Yes. One hour gone. <laughs> <laughs> guys good afternoon guess who's coming over chef frags anyway don't be scared i am doing my makeup so just calm down i'll show you my face later when i finish guys i'm with chef frags he's cooking and do you know one thing i like about him he's doing the food and he's washing up as he's doing it <laughs> seriously seriously but really guys um it, it's really it's really the best to always clean up as you go you don't want to wait for a pile of dishes because you have more work to do and you'll be tired. And it just keeps you active because I'm the kind of person that when I sit down after cooking, let the food burn on the fire. <laughs> so it's very important that you clean as you go and it will just make you a better cook. You'll be very yeah. health conscious in the kitchen. Health in the sense that nothing is dirty. You don't want dirty food in your food. So just keep it clean. You guys, wash as you go along. <laughs> We just finished. Chef Rex made all of this. This is so good. I can't wait to dig in. Well, I've been digging in since Sha. <laughs> so we're just taking pictures. So we just yeah, finished yeah. cooking, yeah. taking pictures, and oh, I'm so tired. It's dinner time now. Everybody is eating, but I just need to relax before I eat because if I attack that food now. I'm fine. <laughs> Once banana island goes to you, no know what I'm talking about. If I attack that food now, it will not be easy. So let me calm down, drink water before I eat. Thank you for coming. So I had a good day today. Chef Rex came over. We made what was supposed to be lunch but turned out to be dinner it took a while man we were just gisting and everything and i learned a few things today like i learned a lot actually and i want to say thank you to chef rex for coming over the first chef on my channel <laughs> i'm so excited about it um i hope to befriend more chefs and make them come to my house and eat their food <laughs> that's a good strategy I mean. anyways i hope you guys enjoy the video this week i will see you all in my next vlog next week bye